Hey there, I'm Source Make, and today I'm going to teach you how the internet works, but I'm going to do it in a really simple way that anyone can understand. So, as usual, I've got my website open and it's got all the resources that we're going to need for this topic. If you'd like to view this webpage, then go ahead and click the link below this video for a link to this page. And while you're down there, you can also click the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. So how does the internet work? Well, we're going to start out with a basic building block, which is a device that can connect to the internet. And in my example, I'm going to use a phone. So it could be a phone, it could be a laptop, it could be a desktop computer. Honestly, it could even be like a smart fridge or something like that. As long as the device has a networking card that allows it to connect to, to, connect to Wi-Fi or say an Ethernet cable, anything like that that lets it connect to the internet, it's a device that we can use as our building block. So from that building block, we're going to move up to a community of devices called a local network. So a local network happens when you have basically a bunch of devices that connect to a router. So in this example, we've got a smartphone, a laptop, and a computer, and they're all connected to this router. A router looks like this, and basically it just gives out Wi-Fi, or it has these holes for Ethernet cables, and it allows devices to connect to it. And what makes a uh, router special is that... Not only can it facilitate the transaction between devices and the router itself, but it can connect to the internet. And the way that works is going to be seen in this next picture. So we've got this community of devices on a local network, but there are a bunch of local networks. So we've got our own at our own house. Maybe there's one at someone else's house. Maybe there's one at some like office building, stuff like that. Everyone has a local network. But what makes it special is that these local networks can be connected to each other through the internet, which are these peripheral lines. So the way a router works is a device connects to it, but you actually, what happens is you pay an ISP, an internet service provider, and they plug a cable into your router, and that cable connects outside to the poles that are like outside your house, outside your building. And those poles actually have wires that connect down to the ISP's hub where Basically, all the other wires connect to each other, and everything's connected like that through cables, and that's how the internet works. Everything's connected through cables. Really, that's how it works. So the internet works like that, and that's what these purple lines are. And the special thing is that we've got our own local network at our house, which is basically the Wi-Fi you connect to when you log into the Wi-Fi. And through the router, you're able to connect to other local networks. And the reason that's actually special is because there are special devices, which are the real MEPs of the internet called servers. So there are basically some special computers that are set up to listen for requests. Instead of just like asking for requests from the internet, once they carry a request, these special devices are able to respond with exactly what's appropriate for what's being asked. So we're going to see this in an in-depth example right now. So. Let's say we want to go to this website, google.com, www.google.com. Well, we want this page to display in our browser, but the reason this page is actually displaying is because there's a server on Google's computer that says this is the page that should be displayed if someone types this into their web browser. And we're going to see how this works. So we've got our local network right here. And let's say we're using our phone as a special device to, and we want to go to google.com. So we open our web browser, which could be Chrome or Firefox or Safari, anything like that. And we say www.google.com in the address bar and we hit enter. So what happens is our smart device actually sends the request to the router. We say to the router, hey, we want to go to google.com. Now the router says, hmm, google.com? You know what? I don't really know where that is, but I know a guy who does. So the router sends a request to a domain name server called a DNS. And a DNS basically says, Google.com? I know that guy. I know where that guy lives. He lives at 8.8.8.8, .8 which is the IP address, which is actually Google's IP address. So this is like real information. So now that we know where Google's IP address is, where they live, we actually send our data to their local network, which is on this IP address. And Google's router sends our data to Google server, which is basically just their special computer that's going to generate the response. So Google server says, OK, this guy typed this information in. Well, what I want to do is I want to generate this web page, the specific web page, with these buttons over here, these buttons over here. I want this bar right here, these buttons, this picture. 
And what the server does is it generates a package to send back to us. This package contains HTML, CSS, JavaScript, any media files like this picture right here, stuff like that. The server generates that package and it sends it back to our router. And our router sends that to our device so it can be displayed in the web browser like right here. So like if you do this, it doesn't happen instantly. It happens basically instantly because the internet is that fast. But that's, that's what happens. What happened in that split second when we hit enter is this process right here. Our request went to the router. The router asked the DNS where Google's IP address was. Our data got sent to Google's IP address. Google server said, okay, they want this google.com. Let me generate this page consisting of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and pictures. They sent that back to our router. Our router sent that back to our device. And our device web browser displayed that on the screen. And I know that's like really specific example with Google, but there are these things called APIs and a whole bunch of other things like connecting to multiplayer games if you're a gamer or st stuff like that that's not in the web browser, like maybe Facebook's app uses the same kind of technology, but it's not in the web browser, or stuff like that. And that's basically how the internet works. So now you're an expert, you see how this communication happens, and that's basically it. If you know that the internet is a set of cables that connects local networks, and you know that basically you request and respond with data, like the servers respond with data and your device requests data, then that's it. You're an expert. So that's been an easy topic. I'm going to cut it short here. It doesn't go into full details. If you want to go into full details, I'll have some more articles on my website, or you can subscribe to this channel, and I'll go more in-depth in another video. But yeah, that's how the internet works. I'm Swiss Make. Thanks for watching.